garden friends welcome to another episode of aj's green thumb so today i'm going to go ahead and put up some trellises and vining supports specifically for these lima beans right here and usually i go ahead and put up my supports prior to prior to planting and all of that but you know how things are nowadays i mean we're all over the place we got a lot going on so I missed that opportunity. So right over here, I have a I have an acorn squash. This right here is an acorn squash. That's gonna get 10 times its size. So it's gonna need supports. So I'm about to go ahead and get the materials and get this going.
simple as this. There was an extra squash that I had when it was planted over there. I had planted five, I gave away two, and then I moved another one over here. This right here, I think is a hollyhock, a hollyhock seed. Put a picture of that up on the screen. But right here is the squash that I transplanted. You could tell it suffered a little bit of um, transplant shock. It's all good. But anyhow, this will suffice. I'll have it growing up this trellis. And over here we got kind of a tunnel for the beans on this side. And then on this end, we got the last squash. And you already see how it's growing. And this is, um, let's see, I think I got the date on a tag. This was May 31st. So this is pretty impressive in less than a month from seed to this. And it gets to be 10 times the size. All right, so I've completed the planting of this hydrangea petiolaris or climbing hydrangea. And as you guys can obviously see, let's just say I added a little bit of garden accoutrement back here. So this is kind of like a secret hideaway. Eventually this climbing hydrangea will go up and over the pergola and create a nice canopy, more dense shade back here. So the unfortunate thing about climbing hydrangeas is that you gotta be really patient in the first few years, I'd say the first three to five years. So I went ahead and purchased a more mature specimen. The bottom plantings are hellebores. So this one right here is Hellebore Blue Diamond, gorgeous dark purple flowers. Gorgeous dark purple flowers. I know it's a little dark back here, guys. Uh, rushed home and tried to make this wrap up video. This one right here is, as you can see, a lighter colored Hellebore flower. And this one right here is Ice and Roses. So nice little planting at the uh, bottom of this hydrangea. So that's the end of this job. Lately, we've been having some extremely high temps, pushing 100 degrees with all the humidity to boot. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of AJ's Green Thumb, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.